Welcome back everybody, it's Mr. Conway again. Today I'm going to show you something really neat about the Arduino, and that's its ability to send information to a computer. That's going to be called serial functioning, and we're going to just start a pretty simple program. Right here we are in Tinkercad. I'm going to click create a new circuit. We're not going to duplicate one of our old circuits because we're going to make something super simple. I'm just going to go down here and the only thing I'm adding to this is the Arduino. In fact, this adds the clock right there. We go. I don't need to put a breadboard on here. I don't need to put any lights or sensors or anything. What we're going to have the Arduino do is basically send information back to the computer. Like I said earlier, that's called serial functioning. And this is going to be very, very helpful to us because we're going to start getting into using sensors. And when we have sensors, it's oftentimes that we need to know what the measurements from those sensors are. And when I have those measurements, I can do things uh, that lets my Arduino make decisions, just like we do with the robots. And one of the neater things about uh, the Arduino, it's a little bit easier to see in real time what the measurements that it's taking from a photoresistor or from a button or any of those kinds of sensors is. That's going to allow us to see if our circuit is working properly, and it's going to allow us to make help our Arduino make some decisions about its environment. But before we get into measurements or any of that stuff, we need to teach our Arduino how to talk to a computer, basically. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on code. And I'm going to switch from blocks to text. Yeah, I'm sure I want to do that. And I want to make sure that I have a completely empty program. So I'm going to go into the void loop and I'm going to delete all the digital writes and delays. Now, notice I did not delete my open and closed curly bracket. I want to keep those there just because I want the void loop function to be able to have things. If you do accidentally delete the open curly bracket and the closed curly bracket, don't forget to put those back in. Same here with the void setup. I'm going to go here and I'm going to get rid of this pin mode that's there because we don't need to pin mode anything. All right, I've been teasing this for a while. Here we are in the setup section. We have been typing it for a while and not ever seen what it does, but today we're going to actually use it. That is serial with a capital S, E R I A L, dot begin, B E G I N. What I have told my Arduino is we are going to start or begin serial communication. That means communication with the computer. Now my computer is listening basically at a certain door for that communication to come in. That's called a baud rate. And so we need to tell the Arduino to make sure that we're using that same baud rate or knocking on that same door so that the computer can answer it successfully. So we're going to type in an argument, and all arguments always go in parentheses. So I start off with my parentheses. And the baud rate that we're going to communicate the computer with is 9600, just like that. I'm done with that argument. That's the only argument that it takes is the baud rate. So I close my parentheses, and then that's the end of a statement. So I put a semicolon there. Now before we get in, I'm just going to go to the top. I'm going to set up a global variable. And we have done integer type variables, which is int before. And that stores an integer type number or a whole number, positive or negative. Today, I'm going to show you how to store a message in a variable. And that kind of data type is what we call a string. So I'm going to write the word string with a capital S, S-T-R-I-N-G. So I wrote string instead of int this time because we're creating a string type variable. So I have the word string there. And now, just like normal, I have to give my variable a name. So let's just call it uh, message one. And again, variable names can only be one word long or they all have to be squished together, no spaces. And I started the second word with a capital just to help it make it easier to see. So I have string message one, and then we always uh, signal that we're creating a variable by typing in an equal sign. 
That's just like uh, Python. That's just like in all the other Arduino assignments that we've done. We are going to put a message in this variable. So what I'm going to do is just type in there, quotation mark, right? Quotation mark says that, oh, hey, this is a message. These aren't any kind of math things that we need to do. These aren't any kind of numbers that we need to do. It's just we're going to put a straight up message in that variable. So that's always with a quotation mark that we put messages in. So I have a quotation mark, and then I'm going to type in hello, comma, world. And I'm done with my message. So I am going to put that in parentheses. And that's the end of my statement. So I am going to put that, uh, I'm going to end that with a semicolon. So now I have a message called hello world. And I have saved that. So here's my message, hello world. And I have saved that into a variable called message one. Now let's go ahead and actually use that message here in the void loop. In order to send any kind of information to the computer, that is the serial command. So we've already used serial, but we used serial.begin, which gets our computer or our Arduino ready to send stuff to the computer. So now I'm going to type in serial and I'm going to type in here dot print. And what that does is that says, okay, we are going to print or send some information in a serial kind of way. That means we're going to send information to a computer. So the big takeaway from today is serial means we are sending something to a computer. All right, and here's how I give it an argument. So here we are, I open up my parentheses. If I wanted to send the message that I have right here in my uh, variable, which is the hello world message, well, I'm not gonna type in hello world because we've already saved that in a variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put the name of the variable there. So what, I'm, what am I sending to the computer? I'm sending message one. So it's real important that I type my variable the exact same way that I created my variable. So I have that capital O in there, for example, when I use it, and I have that capital O in there, for example, when I created it. And that's the end of my argument. So I'm gonna put a parenthesis there, and that's the end of my statement. I'm gonna put my uh, semicolon there. I just wanna see what this looks like so far, so I'm gonna click Start Simulation. Now, it doesn't look like it's doing anything because what it's doing is sending information to a computer. So in order to see the information that your Arduino is sending to the computer, that's down here on Serial Monitor. And I'll go ahead and create another video uh, or add it to this video uh, about how to do this in real life. But in Tinkercad, we click on Serial Monitor and you can see it is sending a bunch of stuff and boy, does that look weird, right? Hello world, hello world, hello world. This is the serial monitor. This shows the information that the R Arduino is sending out. And you can see our message is there, but it, it looks kind of weird. If I hit clear, well, you can see exactly what it's, it's sending and I'll just keep repeating. I'm gonna stop the simulation well, so that looks a little weird. I want that, and I could tell that, you know, it's doing its thing, that it's repeating, sending that message to the computer, and it's, it's going to keep repeating that because we're in a loop section. So instead of serial print, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use a little bit different command, and that's serial.println. What serial.println uh, does is after it sends an information to the computer, it's going to basically hit the return key or start a new line. So let's look at and see how serial.println looks a little bit different. Okay. Now you can see it prints the message and then it starts a new line before it goes back to the loop, okay? 
So let's do this. Let's actually get rid of that LN, all right? Because I'm gonna show you that serial print can also send information uh, that's just a, a message in and of itself. So let's say I didn't want to store my message in, in a variable, all right? I've already done that, but let's say I didn't. So let's go to a new line in our void loop, and this time let's type in serial.print, all right? So, and now I'm gonna type in my ln, and I'll explain why in just a second here, but let's give it an argument. The argument that I'm going to give it is going to start with quote, uh, quotation marks. That, that means, oh, okay, that, I'm, I'm going to type a message. So we could either save a message like this into a variable, or I could just straight up send the message um, to this. If you're in my class, uh, to get credit for this assignment, you have to do both things. You have to send a variable uh, to uh, the computer. You also have to send a message to the computer. So I've gone serial.println quotation marks. And then because this is going to be on the same line as message one or hello world, I want to make sure that I start my next thing, which is on the same line with a, a couple uh, with a space or two. So I'm going to add a space after the quotation mark, and then I'm gonna type in, my name is Mr. Conaway. There we go, there's my message. That's the end of my message, so I'm going to put a quotation mark around it. And that's uh, the end, so I don't need any other arguments. I close it with a parenthesis, and I end my statement with a semicolon. Now let's see what this looks like. I'm going to start by clearing my serial monitor. I will hit start simulation. And you can see it is over and over again, sending the message to the computer. Hello world, that's message one. My name is Mr. Conway. And that's the other thing. So the big takeaways from this are, I hope that you know how to send variable data to a computer and how to send a message to the computer. If you're in my class, obviously your message should say what your name is. So don't turn in an assignment that says, hello world, my name is Mr. Conway. Go ahead and turn in an assignment that says, hello world, my name is Bob or Susie or whatever your name happens to be. Make sure that you change the message on the serial.println line so that it says your name. All right. I'm glad that we got a chance to go over what serial communication is and what it looks like. I hope you have some fun uh, playing around with it. We're going to start using this a lot for sensors and things like that, and we'll see that in our next video. All right, have a great day.